something I want to talk about, I've talked about in the past, but I, I think this is a good opportunity to talk about it again, uh, is fat necrosis. I want to just explain what it is related to a BBL. This is the area of fat necrosis here. Usually the general course of fat necrosis is patients will first start off with a little redness, then it'll become pretty painful. And she didn't describe that much pain, but now everybody has a different pain tolerance and, and whatnot. So for her, it wasn't that painful, but I would say it's very painful typically is what patients will tell me. And then you get the pain and you get the redness. If you feel it, it feels hot. So if you come in or go into an emergency room, a surgeon's office, and you have something that's painful, swollen, red, hot, all of that sounds like an abscess. And the way you treat an abscess, it's a boil, is to cut it open. And so I would say 99.9% .9 of doctors would see this who don't have experience with BBLs and have not seen fat necrosis firsthand, they'll go and they'll cut this open and it'll leave a hole, it'll create a wound, and it will, will leave a, a divot, a contour irregularity, and it'll heal, but you'll have, you'll have a scar. And I used to do that a long, long time ago. I cut fat necrosis out of patients that I had. And then over time, you'll, you, when you start to see more patients and you can monitor it over, over years, you know, we're talking about a long time, you'll start to, to see like, oh, maybe I don't need to go and open this. Maybe this is healing, will heal on its own. Because a lot of times it starts with the redness, starts with the swelling, starts with the pain, and then it starts to get more swollen. And then from that point, it'll go either two places. One, the wound will open and it'll, it'll look like white. That's actually the dead fat. And, it, and your body will extrude that and then it'll heal. Or the other way, instead of the fat coming out, it'll just kind of take care of itself and it won't open. That's the situation that we're in here is that she got swollen, she was more painful, everything looked redder and more tense. And then now it's starting to recede and get better. So in her situation, I don't know why, the fat did not get extruded. This is going back. Everything is moving this way now. So if you look and you see this white rim of tissue, you know, what is that? That area is becoming less swollen. And when it's less swollen, that skin that had kind of stretched when it was more red and tense, that skin dies. And then when she starts to become less swollen, you see that little peeled edge. So the way I would predict and what I've told her how this, the course of the events is this will continue to get less red, less painful, less swollen, and that skin will eventually heal and she won't have any contour irregularity there. This should look fine. She may have some hyperpigmentation, some darkness in that area that can last for 12 months but there shouldn't be any other visible scar in that coloring. The darkness eventually goes away and I encourage people to massage, uh, at, not at this point because it would hurt, but after everything is healed and there's some darkness there to do some massage. So I just think that's very important. I've certainly seen uh, patients go to the hospital, have this removed, thinking that it was an infection, but when they actually send the cultures that they take in the operating room, they're negative. There's no bacterial growth. And so it's kind of like, oh, maybe the bacteria didn't grow, but there was really no bacteria there because it's not an infection. This is a problem with the blood supply with the death. And those two things can be mixed up. And I think if they are mixed up, it can lead you down the wrong path. So hopefully if you are suffering from this, maybe this will give you a little insight. I'm, I'm not here trying to give you personal medical advice. I'm trying to share my experience with patients and I have patients that are nice enough that allow me to do that just so we can get a general education. But I certainly don't want this to be taken for you. If you have something similar, see your surgeon and get their opinion as to how to treat this and manage it.